Hi guys, this is Pradeep. So today we will take another interview question. So this question is related to product costing. Very often when you are going for uh, interview with some uh, experience role, like for example, let's say you have uh, five, six years experience on the consulting. So definitely you will get one question that is related to product costing and particularly the variance analysis. It is also applicable to the business users, particularly if you are from the costing background, let's say you are CMA and you are working on management accounting, then very often it will be there in your profile also. So we will run two cycles. One will be purchase cycle and we will capture the variance. And with that variance, we are going to settle it to COPA. With that, we are going to settle to your PNL and also we are going to settle to the material ledger. Similarly, we are also going to create one production order, the entire production cycle we are going to see. And again, there also we will capture the variance and that variance we are going to settle to uh, external reporting, that means to PNL, to COPA and to the material ledger. So this one will be very, very important one. Maybe video will be a little bit lengthy, but stay tuned and uh, you will get good content from this particular video. A manufacturing company, they want to capture the complete variance that is related to raw material purchase, that is related to different activity cost, related to uh, any overage, because ultimately when you are going to calculate the cost, so you have uh, material component, you have uh, activity component, that is your conversion cost and your overhead. So they want to calculate all type of variance and that variance, whatever they have calculated, they are going to analyze, of course, and they are also we are going to report it. So as a finance team, you are from the finance team or as a finance consultant. So you, it is your responsibility to, you have to ensure that the accurate reporting of this particular variance for your decision making. So when I'm saying accurate decision making means this cost, if I'm the finance user, then it should reflect in the FI means in PNL. If I am the cost controller, then it should be there in the profitability analysis internally, which we are saying margin analysis or COPA, and uh, it should be there in the material ledger. So for that purpose, what are the challenges you may face? So here the challenge is we have to understand the sources of variance, the, why these variances are there. So as you know that uh, the, the difference between your plant cost and actual cost will be the variance then how it is going to reflect in PNL and profitability analysis and how we are going to settle them, the variance, uh, is settle them in material ledger. So for this, what are the solutions required? The backend configuration is required for if you are consultant, then you have to configure the entire business process. Of course, you have to configure the cost com object controlling. You have to calculate, uh, configure the variance analysis. You have to configure the material ledger, but not only that, all the integrations like your FIMM integration, FI uh, COEPP integrations, FI COE integrations. So because FI COE reconciliation also will be part of this. So that configurations prerequisite or it should be there. And we will see how these variance are calculated and how it is going to flow from the source is your controlling module. So from there to different other modules. So let's check these things. So now I'm going to check in the system and there we are going to see it. Now I have different type of materials. It is one of my batch configuration. So that data I'm going to sh show here. So I have different type of material. Let randomly I'm going to pick the first material that is 159, material number 159. So uh, assume that uh, this 159 material we have, we don't have enough stock for the manufacturing point of view. So that's why I'm going to uh, purchase some materials. So let's say this material number 159, we don't have the enough stock. So that's why we are going to purchase 50 units. And right now some price is updated, but we the vendor price is at 9 we are going to purchase. So this material price will be at 9. So that means when we are going to purchase, when we will have the GR, so we will do a comparison, I mean system is going to do a comparison between the standard price which is updated in the material plus whatever the PO price will be there. So right now as per this calculation, so the PO price should be 50 into 9, so 450. Whereas you can see here the standard price it is updated. So let's ignore how we got this standard price. So the price is updated here 816, right? So this price is 816. So that means as per that calculation, so the price should be as per the standard price 408. So that means there is one difference is available, right? So this difference this difference is 450 minus 408. Now, automatically system is going to capture this difference and system is going to reflect all this difference in your FI books of accounts, in COPA books of accounts and in the material ledger. Then after that, I'm going to post one invoice. I can continue with the same price, let's say the, at nine. 
but let's say I negotiated with the vendor and vendor agreed the price for 8.6 then again there will be a comparison between the standard price and the new price invoice price whatever it is there then we are going to adjust this difference amount because this will be a difference this is a purchase price difference so it is purchase price purchase price difference which is we are going to transfer to the copa as a cost and here uh, as already we have transferred a uh, like more amount so we need to uh, adjust this particular in, in invoice difference because we are going to adjust means we are going to have a credit so we are going to credit the invoice or credit this difference amount right so let me show you this one in system so that you will get more practical it right so let's create the purchase order so purchase order point of view as i said the prerequisite configuration should be there in this system it is already there so i'm going to create one purchase order right so same transaction code i'm using there is no you can try this one in the ec system or s4 system i'm using s4 system but it is in ecc also uh, some extent you will get some areas you are not going to get the impact but some areas you are going to get that okay so let me select one supplier here So randomly let, let me pick one supplier let's take this supplier purchase organization whatever uh, it is configured purchase group so material number 159 and we are going to purchase delivery date let's take today's date okay and uh, price as i said i will take nine okay other details plant storage location some information updated so that is not our uh, focus here so just ignore so informations are available or all the informations are there in the purchase order now let's save this order created now i'm going to process the gr we go ecc or s4 both same t code goods received with reference to purchase order not production order purchase order PO execute and go for it so document is perfect and post it now logistic point of view my transactions uh, goods receipt posted now if I'm the finance user then I will check whether my books of accounts are updated or not so here you are going to get the bill uh, sorry we will check a bill 3n but uh, we will check the particularly the variance but of course your fi uh, CO, sorry fimm integration is also prerequisite so you will get your uh, accounting documents all type of documents so i just filtered with the today's date so i can see here inventory account is debited so what is the inventory amount here 408 why 408 as per this calculation price the standard price is updated 8.6 so it is 408 so perfect the inventory account is evaluated with the price whatever it is updated then uh, we are going to check here uh, whatever the uh, difference amount so GRR account just ignore uh, it is not related to our current example so purchase price difference is also updated here that is 42 that is also as per my calculation it is there now we will see so it is my FI entry and if this is my cost this is my cost which should be there in the finance reporting point of view it should be there so my first criteria completed now i will check whether it is there in the materializer or not check that too material number 159 and period check and what is our gr sorry what is our purchase purchase order double nine right so check whether this updated or not so with reference to purchase order the uh, gr document yeah this one so difference amount is updated right this 42 this this one is updated 42 so materializer part is also updated so inventory evaluated at standard price 
and the difference amount is updated so second criteria also completed and what is the price right now it is processed at nine now next challenge is we are going to see whether uh, so this one we like uh, this was your challenge right so this challenge is whether it is going to reflect in the p and l or not so of course it is updated in the finance it is also updated in the materializer now we are going to check whether it is going to update in the profitability analysis now this one uh, in this system i have completed uh, combined copa configuration so i can show you both update in the finance means uh, uh, against the gl account and against the value feeds but if you have only configured the margin analysis then you are going to or account based copa so there you can only see against the gl account so both are absolutely fine this combined copa having some more features if you have just configured the costing based copa then that is a in ecc uh, th there you will get against your value field so whatever the configurations you did you are going that is uh, it's okay only thing is this difference amount this 42 should reflect against the each area so i'm going to check that so let's check here the report uh, GL account report we are going to check or from here also I can see directly I can check the K24 otherwise I can get the information from here so from this accounting document anyway so if I will check the accounting documents I can see my combined profitability analysis information is there so here I'm going to get the characteristics so these are my characteristics updated and I want to see the information the difference amount against your uh, GL account so 4005 GL account okay so this is my gl account 4005 that is pr price difference once again let me open that apl3 and gl account 4005 and same is updated in my so this is your account based copa margin analysis anything you can say plus as i said i have configured the combined copa so against this value field is also same amount is updated so if you have configured costing based copa then this information is going to reflect in the copa report if you have configured the margin analysis or account based copa then this one is going to update in your k24 report if you have configured the combined copa like this then it is going to update in both place so which is there in the new feature in 2022 version okay so my first criteria done so that means purchase order created and with gr the respective amount adjusted now as i said i am going to also further processing this one from the invoice point of view and i am going to adjust that also okay so further i am going to continue so let me post the miro document As for the previous price, its system is taking 450. But as I said, we will not go with this price. Rather, we have uh, negotiated with the vendor. So the invoice price should be 50 into 8.6. That is 430. So invoice price should be 430, not 450. 430. And uh, accordingly, this tax amount and all going to be adjusted because I change the base price. Okay, and now payable amount is 451.50. 451.50. Process. Invoice process. Now, this one also going to reflect in all areas. This one should be updated in your metro ledger. This one should be updated in the COPA report. This should be there in the PNL. So, let's start with the PNL. Refresh. Other informations, accounts payable and all will be there, but directly we are going to check the purchase price difference. So last with that last transaction, the purchase price was updated with 42 and it is what it is cost. It is debit item. And then we have adjusted. No, it's not 42 actually difference. So we negotiated a vendor and we have given a credit that is 22. So actual difference is what actual difference is 22. So in this year or sorry, in this period, we are going to transfer the difference related to purchase price that is 22 right so this one is updated then my fi part is updated then i will also going to get the same in the material ledger too right now the material ledger is updated 42 uh, let me refresh
okay now check here a credit entry posted or minus entry posted so 20 so net 22 we are going to transfer so with gr it is 42 and with invoice it is 20 so this one also uh, adjusted here and the price accordingly reduced from 9 to this one uh, the new price whatever it is there plus it should be there in the copa too last time in the copa we have transferred 42 now let's check this document so this is a document different document so this is your gr document this is your invoice document so in invoice document also copa part is going to update so same output here we are going to see the difference amount against the gl account same gl account 20 credit and the value field is also updated 20 so that means if with this configurations so everything is going to update whether it is related to invoice whether it is related to gr right so the first scenario with this we have completed now we will take the second scenario that is related to production order